Good afternoon. What's your name, please? Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Emmanuel Iyang. Okay, what you have to say about the 5.5 billion naira that was allocated to buy cars for senators in Nigeria? <laughs> My sister, this country is funny. 5.5 billion to buy cars for senators. I would just say the senators are not born again. For my own understanding, buying car of 5.5 million for senators is not is is like wasting our currency. Because number one, they're supposed to buy car by themselves as a government workers. Secondly, there is poor people. At least let me give an example. Someone like me, suffering, no job, and they are buying a senator for a car of 5.5 million. You know, wasting our money. So it's not fair. I don't think that is. But that is my own mind, though. I'll say that, um, to be sincere, honestly speaking, I think this country has lost, we have lost it, actually. We have lost it. Because if you look at the critical condition, or the critical state in which the nation is presently, you would not argue with me that we have other things to pump that money into, other than some, some greedy, selfish group of people who are sitting down somewhere saying, they are deliberating for you and I. That's what I'm saying. If we, if we are allocating such amount of money, 5.5 billion naira to senators, that's what I'm saying. While we have unemployment scourge in the country, we have people who are begging to eat. We have high cost of education. That's what I'm saying. We have people dying. In, look at Nigeria dying in South Africa because there's no job in Nigeria. That's why people are rushing. Go to all over the world. You see Nigerians everywhere, even in China, India. You understand? It's because of the state of the country. This country is critically sick. We need, we need a miracle in this country for it to work out. We need a miracle. Even, let me tell you something. Eh? If you're talking about physical cash, that okay, let's pump in $20 billion, $20 billion, $50 billion. We still have a long way to go in Nigeria. You understand? So now for such amount of money to be given, to be allocated to people who I believe are... Okay, that's what I'm saying. They are okay. These are people living fine. Why are you people on the streets begging, walking in the sun? They need accommodation. They need jobs. You understand? We need jobs in this country. There is no job anywhere. People earn salary. You, in fact, you spend before you earn. By the time salary comes in, before the 30th of the month, you've you've exhausted what you have in your account. You have challenges. You have in fact, unemployment challenge is number one. Then security, security is number two. You understand? So I think that's that's. Is not is out of it. Is out of it. Yes. So you think it's a waste of Nigerian resources? It's a waste of my tax because I'm paying tax. I have my tax ID card. You want me to? I can show my tax ID card. It's a waste of money. You understand? It's a waste of the tax of the citizenry. You understand? We pay tax. This is just a waste. It's total waste, my sister. I can show my tax ID. I pay my tax. You understand? If in my own condition, in the present condition, I am, I am struggling to survive as a salary earner. Then somebody. Some group of people sitting down there saying they are deliberating for me. They are sharing 5.5 billion naira. Man, I think <laughs> we need a miracle in short. We need Jesus to come down and save this country. Um, I just think we are not just being realistic in this country. That's just a true fact. Well, uh, if you even go back to their salary, their salary is outrageous. It's only in Nigeria whereby people earn so much just because they are working for the masses. They are even supposed to be earning less. That's the truth. Why will you be a public servant? Are you be earning? Okay, so a, a president or senators are earning that much. Why ordinary citizens are earning thirty thousand naira? It's really ridiculous. My brother works in the bank. He was just laid off last month for no reason. So I think it's just been crazy. We are earning the salary. The the workers are earning are almost nothing. So you have to buy cars for... God, this, why don't we face the realistic things? And now you say people are stealing, people are doing this. Why won't people do that? Because they are not earning a living. Now they'll say people are running to abroad. Why people won't run to abroad? Because they'll work per hour and earn good money. But here, yeah, you will work in a month and earn almost nothing. Oh God, I'm just... Thank you very much. Well, when you ask me about that, you yourself, you know, they don't deserve it. Just look at what is happening in Nigeria. Look at what happened in South Africa a few months ago. They call it xenophobic attack. Nigerians are being killed. So many things happen. None of them stand up or stood up to say one thing or the other because when you look at them, most of them have properties in South Africa. Any of them that says anything, 
Cam his property can be ruined in South Africa. So they kept quiet and Nigerians have been killed. What they know is their pockets, to pocket money and live a reckless life. As for me, they don't merit anything. They are not doing anything. Nigeria should adopt a kind of government that the legislators or House of, House of Assembly should just be free. Everybody should go to his business. Whenever there is a meeting, they will come and decide on what to do and go back to their... Not making them permanent members, doing nothing. They are earning a huge amount of money. It doesn't make sense to me. Well, there's this particular senator, um, Senator Yahya Abdullahi, has come out to say that, you know, it's an insult for Nigerians to say that they don't deserve it and that what they are doing is even more than what many public servants are doing and yet they go, they go on the road with like four convoys. What do you have to say about this? Well, that is over, um, overstatement because they cannot even do what civil servants are doing. Look at, most of them don't even have certificates. Look at the case of Buhari. As the tribunal said that you don't have to attach your certificates before you apply for, to, to aspire to any position. What does that mean? They don't have to know your qualifications. Some of them don't have SSE. Some are not graduates, but they are there wasting money. An ordinary level seven of civil service are better than most of them in that house. So when you compare, you can, they are incomparable. You can't compare them with the people serving in state level or federal level as a civil servant. In my own understanding, in my own opinion, you can't compare what the civil servants are doing with the idle senators or House of Rep members. They are not doing nothing. If a nation can decide to waste 5.5 billion euros to get cars for our senators and they can't just send just one jet for emergency to pick our people from South Africa, that's a waste of money. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, these people are just too concerned about themselves and they don't care about others, like our citizens. People are dying there and you can't just send an emergency to pick people from South Africa, but you are budgeting to give people 5.5 million euros to buy cars. These people can actually get these cars themselves with their salary. They can't. Because they are making more than they should be making. The other countries don't give um, their senators so much money. It is here in Nigeria, we are being wasteful. We so much rely on the money we get on petrol, and as the time comes by, this um, crude oil will not be there for us again. We don't foresee the 20 years to come. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a waste of money. Like, why can't you use this 5.5 billion euro to maybe invest on little agriculture? Like, invest, let build, um, grow rice. Why import rice from Thailand? Why? All right, th th thank you. Thank you very much. Um, there, there's, there's been this um, senator, Senator Yahaya Abdullahi, that came out to say that Nigerians shouldn't say that, that um, they're actually deserving of this thing because they work for it. And they, they, they're even doing more work than a lot of public servants that take four convoys around when they are going. Uh, my question is, what do they actually do? <laughs> it's funny, but the thing is, we, most times we watch the TV, we see them on the TV and most of them are actually sleeping during the meeting. So it's not a part of the work. Like you're sleeping during the meeting and you are being paid for that too. So he shouldn't say that. Well, for, for him to say, for one senator to say that they deserve such, what have them worked for them to deserve such? Do you understand me? What have them worked for them to deserve such? And he said they deserve it. What, have, what is their work as a senator? What makes them deserve such car? 5.5 million naira. If they want buy a car on their own, you can buy a car by yourself, not by using government money to buy a car of 5.5 million naira because of your senator. Car is just is that not that's 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 luxury. That's not asset. That's luxury. They want to buy an asset for the country to see how we can invest in the country and better the country, not to buy luxury. Car kind of luxury now. What if I buy 5.5 5. 5. 5 billion naira? It catch fire.